It turns out it's a lot worse than you could ever imagine. And here comes some fire truck down my road. I gotta go. Probably can't. No, you can't, because you don't have smell o vision I don't know if you can see this in the sky. Actually, the camera's doing a pretty decent job of it. You can kind of see the differentiation right here. It is solid smoke out here. It's solid smoke. The wind has been blowing a million miles an hour, and by a million, that's an accurate measurement today. I think it was 20 gusting to 30, and they had fires 50 miles away, and they were small at first, but now they're big. They're not so small anymore. I can hear the fire trucks in the not distant, far off. I want to drive over there and see what's going on. Man, what do I need to do here? We're in rural nowhere. I have no cell service today. Stinking Wi-Fi is down. I can't call my wife and tell her don't come home or come home or work out a plan with her. So, by the way, the sun's down. Camera's amazing. I'm not sure what the red glow is. I think I got a hunch. I'm gonna pack the boys a go bag. Probably should have done this already. New thing, like puppy go bag. Ooh, check out how bright this thing is. Man, I love this camera. Need to get in touch with Jesse and figure out how far away this thing is. Okay, pack the truck. My go bag, their go bag. Joint go bag. My wife just texted me and she said that it was at the dairy right next to ours, which is our next door neighbor, which would explain some of the smoke and stuff. I don't think that's right. Ah, something's off. We'll find out. Hear the sirens though. No sense in locking up. And go for a little looky loo. Hello, boys. Everybody be perfectly calm. Stay chill. Mm, this is my driveway. I'm not sure if you can hear me, but this is my driveway. And that looks to be the line that we're holding. Okay, switching over to handheld. Uh, I can't use the big camera. Uh, that glow now is obvious. I'm gonna go check my in laws are about a half a mile up here up this road. Oh, here's where we pray. <laughs> so, Father. I pray supernatural protection over the families and the farms and the businesses and the animals that are up here, especially over my in-laws. And I pray that you would drive back this fire, that you would snuff it out, Lord, that you would go against all wind. Lord, just do that thing that only you can do. I pray your supernatural protection over them. God, I pray that you would snuff it out in Jesus' mighty name. I'm at my in-laws' house. That's... My hand. Oh, That's their hill right there. The end of their property is right where those lights are. And his truck, you can't see that, but his truck is gone. So I'm guessing he's, I would imagine, up there. They're trying to hold the line up here. I see it. Because the wind's coming again, too. I just stepped outside and felt it. Yep. The next thing that happens is we're going to have to tend those cows. You want to pack your go bag and fall back a little bit? Up in that small pit, and pray to God they can see the barrier between the fire and my cows. Do you see the cows? I don't see them. I don't see them. They're not over here close to the house. I, can see them. I better go. Bye. All right, see you. Bye. That is 409,000 ISO. <laughs> it was, it turns out it's a lot worse than you could ever imagine. And here comes some fire truck down my road. So. I gotta go. Pack up. I don't know what my, my in-laws are gonna do. Here come rows and rows of trucks to get this dealt with. Gotta go. Gotta be real careful. I might end up getting stuck here. There's a little bunch of trucks out there making sure that the fires stay out. And there is still a huge fire up to our northwest that's kind of pushing down this direction. But the air is much clearer and the danger is not as imminent. So I think we're gonna water things down, unpack, and go to bed. Here's kind of the lay of the land from last night. You can see it here in the day. Here's where the firefighters kind of made their stand. They cut it all off right here. I'm standing right next to, I'm on the road. It's a, it's a ag drive kind of a thing. This is my father-in-law's place where we were parked and they were parked last night just across this little stack of trees. And then they cut this fire break in with big earth movers. And then their trucks go in and then here is where you can actually see, I don't know if you can't see it in the viewfinder because it's too bright out here, but you can actually see smoke off in the distance. They're still trying to put this one out. It's behind that, pushing this way. There's a huge one back over here pushing uh, towards this southeast. You can see the wind, obviously it's blowing you guys around. I'm not even sure if you can hear me, but just kind of wanted to show you how they do this because they've just now started bringing in airplanes, and helicopters and whatnot, and they're picking them up out of Lake Leon, which is over here. 
But I mean, this farm's already spreading poop. They took advantage of the fire burn opportunity and they're already spreading poop back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. We should know in the next couple of hours how much containment they get on this fire, but it's been a sporty time for the Browns. I'll tell you that.